Welcome to the Wood Factor. I'm Paul Wooders, and it's time for the brand new Geek Fuel EXP box. It's big and it's cool. It's heavy. Oh, it is. All right. <laughs> oh man, I cannot wait to see what's in here. Uh, did I have no idea? Okay, before the big thing was that there was always a game in there. Now, whether or not they still do that, we'll see. All right. And I got some old games to give away, so uh, stick around for that. And what, oh, on a questionable sour note, I did get two of these boxes, and this one kind of got uh, damageated. Now, whether that affects anything in the box, we'll see. I'll open the good one first, and then so I can compare the second one. So, uh, we'll see what happens from there. So, uh, there, these, there, there's a, ah, pooey. These are a quarterly box, and they're worth, I didn't, I haven't really, totaled it up but they're worth roughly the same as three individual boxes so it's the same amount per year just uh in all in one thing so this is the second quarter box i'm not sure what month to call it well i just i'll just put second you see you see i'll put second quarter or that says it'll ship at the end of may and then i just now got mine and it's the ninth today so this is a second quarter box so we got that <laughs> all right so uh here we go oh favorite item for the last one wasn't anything really that stood out a whole lot i did like the t-shirt it was a nice uh thanos t-shirt and uh all the little scalers i got uh, a couple of a couple of scales i had two different boxes so i had two different scalers uh, i had one of the ninja turtles and i'm honestly don't know which is which is the purple one i do believe and then the, uh, the, 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 this guy, Rocksteady, uh, the one with the, the rhino went down here. I got him in the other box. So they didn't come at the same time, so I had to wait on that. So, all right, so is that everything? I think that's everything. Geek Fuel EXP second quarter box. Volume one. All right. Oof, oof. All right, let's see what is going on. First one ever, the big honking EXP. Now my concern is that if it's, okay, Loot Crate had a box and then they had the deluxe edition, deluxe, deluxe box, which has fancier items and I'm kind of not really into the fancy stuff, just just ordinary uh, whatnots and things. Here's a card on top. I'm probably gonna set that aside real quick. No, it's, it's you can't see it. It's just uh, this and yeah, there's stuff inside of there. So I'm going to save that to last because that might be a, my content card. Um, okay, there's a pretty good size. Wow, that's a big box. Let's see if I can find some small stuff. Planet of the Apes. What is this? Our pen, yeah, Pen Pals. Okay. Oh, a do two, two pack of uh, Planet... Oh, hang on a second. We got a... ANSA? Okay, if, you, if, you, if you're very... Well, pooey. Familiar with the Planet of the Apes, I'm sure that makes sense. That's kind of a NASA, and then this is something different. So we got. Uh, let's see what we got. We got uh, this guy, George Taylor, who is a prisoner. And then we have in the green, this one here, Dr. Zira. Zira. And George Taylor with a spacesuit is the rare one which I did not get right there. All right, and then the little NASA, A-N-S-A, NASA, National Aeronaut, whatever, I don't know. The, the equivalent, I'm sure, because I, it's got the little star thing going on there. So, there you go, a little double pin this time. So very cool. Um, let's see here. Here's a big flat box. Oh, Bob Burgers, okay. The, uh, let's see, the Geek Now, or fuel ever or for <laughs> geek now or fuel ever hold your peas burger so well, let's see if we can hope this see what's in here oh just a note there's a link in the description to my ebay page because i got two i got two of these boxes so uh pretty much i'm pretty sure everything's going to be for sale at least one, one of everything oh an apron maybe Bob's Burgers includes one officially licensed Bob Burger apron. Okay. So let me set that 
right there. Let's take a look. Oh, very nice. Ah, there you go, the whole crew. That's your little apron thing. There's pocket, no pockets. I don't think I see any pockets. Nope, no pockets. For utensils and whatnot. Bosburgers. There you go. Let me set that right there. Uh, let's see. Here's another large flat box. Ooh, Marvel something. Is that Wolverine? It looks like. Yeah, I think so. Ooh, okay. Uh, Canvas Collection, limited series. Interesting. Let's see. Well, there's another. Oh, come on. Ooh, okay. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a cover. What is this? Marvel. Oh, Wolverine number one. Wow. Okay. I remember this one. And yeah, that was the first, uh, it's a, it's a little canvas, uh, cover thing. Very cool. And it's got a little, little hanger. I don't know if you can see that. That one's a little hanger. I like this. All right. Now it's entirely possible they have variant items. So this may not be the only one available, but uh, I'm keeping this one. I had this comic book back when it first came out. I collect co collected comics years ago, back in 78. Uh, That's when I first started uh, first started checking them out. See, it was weird. I, I never wa I looked at them as a kid. So when I always thought comic books like Betty and Veronica and eh, whatever. And one day I saw a uh, Fantastic Four comic, and I, I kind of flipped through it, and this actually looks interesting. So, and that, that was it. I started collecting them. I'm still, let me get this one big box. I think this is the T-shirt. Oh, oh, okay, hang on a second. We got a Deadpool, and it's it's a T-shirt. So, yay! Now, oh, and I just got done back from seeing Deadpool two, which was awesome, funny as hell. There was one part in there. I can't even remember what it was now, but I've laughed so hard I couldn't see straight. So. <laughs> There's only one part in there I didn't like. Okay, spoilers. Okay, get ready to turn your volume down because I'm going to spoil the movie just a little tiny bit. Um, so when you see me do this, then that means you can turn your volume back up. Okay, so spoiler, get ready now. Okay, the only part I didn't really like in the movie was at the very end during the death scene. Deadpool kept dying and then, no, I'm not dead. And, oh, I'm fading fast. And no, I'm not dead. <laughs> Jeez, come on, though. But uh, that's it. So um, I'll give you a second to turn your volume back up. Oh, you probably already did. But uh, other than that one part that I was just talking about that was not, I'm not spoiling, is uh, that it was it was awesome. More more action than the first one, I thought. Uh, the fight action and stuff. So uh, Josh Brolin was awesome as Cable. And uh, there's some other characters I Hat didn't know it was going to be in there, and I'm not, not going to spoil that. But uh, let's see, I avoid watching trailers now because trailers ruined Gal Guardians of the Galaxy 2 for me because I wanted to see it so bad, and I watched every what do you call it um, trailer I could find, and their their scenes. You see the same scene done two or three different ways, and when you're in the movie and you see it, and you go, "Here's the part where they say." They didn't say that. So it, 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 the whole thing was anticipating a certain dialogue and, and it just, and when I saw the movie, it was just like, oh crap. So, but I will be buying the DVD or Blu-ray. And uh, so hopefully I'll have that in mind and I'll kind of ignore the trailers from way back. And, and anyway, whatever. So from now on, I see, I'll probably see one trailer and then don't look at any more of them. Then forget about it, and it'll be distant memory. And don't worry about it. okay, so <laughs> back to what we're doing. It looks freaking awesome already. First of all, it is tagless. Very cool. Okay, I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a Geek Fuel EXP exclusive. So very nice. Well, let's see the whole thing. Thank you. I think you already did see the whole thing. Okay. So let's get a close-up look out here if we can get this thing folded the right way. 
Very nice. Oh, it's just various uh, Deadpool things. Pirate Deadpool, Chef Deadpool, and some more that I can't quite make out at the moment, but very nice. Alright. Let's see. Oh, something big. Oh, a pizza? Ninja Turtle something. Cowabunga Cutter. Well, let's take a look here. We got uh, it's all sealed in plastic and whatnot. If I can find a place to cut it so I don't shred everything. <laughs> shred everything. See what I did there? <laughs> not well, I'm not finding a decent place here. Let's see. But I'm uh, all right, let's uh, mm, sealed right here. Let's see here. Oh, it's sealed over here too. Cutter. Why is the box in the shape of a pizza box? And it's sealed down here. <laughs> this is... Alright, now then. Ooh. Okay, this, this is seriously cool. Okay, very nice. It's like a sigh, only a pizza cutter. So <laughs> very musical too. Uh, this is cool. Okay, I like this. I like this. This is cool. Okay, t-shirt and this. Okay, I got a couple of Deadpool shirts, so I'm gonna call this my favorite so far. All right. So let's. Uh, what do we got in here? Anything else? Not just some artwork. Who doesn't love pizza, my fellow dudes and dudettes? Some major slice and dice action. <laughs> nice. Oh, no kitchen is complete without this pie side. Pie side, very nice. Unsheathe and unleash your hunger. Remember, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for a late pizza. That was in the, the first movie. So, I remember that one. All right, so let's set that over there. And this right here. I'm kind of running out of room here. All right. Okay. Let's see, there's another box, a little smaller, oh, Game of Thrones, uh, mystery mini or something, I don't think that's what that is, but, Game of Thrones Titan vinyl figure, okay, Titan, mini Titan, Titan vinyl, whatever, all right, well, let's go ahead and open it, I'm not a big fan of Game of Thrones, sorry, I think the, I've said this before, but I think the, the audio books is what ruined it for me. Because I started reading the books and you know, figures an epic adventure type stuff. And, and uh, it was just horribly done. And every time I hear Game of Thrones, I... Eh, so I never actually saw the TV series. And I kind of think that may be a good thing. Because <laughs> I just don't have time for anything. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, okay. Here's this guy. I'm not sure who that is, the, the, the winter evil, when they show uh, trailers. And it's like, whoa, that guy. Okay, um, I don't see him in here. Okay, this might be a rare one. Because, see, there's the guy, but he's not wearing black here. So I don't know. Wait a minute. Let's see what this says. Three inch vinyl figure inside. Three to collect some with ex with accessories. Okay, this shows. Yeah, this shows this guy, but with a with a spear. No, I do not have a spear. So I'm not sure what this is, as with regards to a common or a rare or anything like that. So, but uh, there it is. We'll set that to one side. That's going up for sale. If you're interested, eBay, link in the description. And I think that's about it. No, there's something at the bottom. Star Wars, something Star Wars. Um, oh, it's a big old hardback. No wonder this thing was heavy. 
It's a hardback something or other. It's not a regular book. It has a couple different things going on there. Okay, let me show you the art real quick. I think it goes this way. Okay, very cool. Okay, you got a, you got a diorama thing going on there. So you got you got that. Very cool. Very nice. <laughs> All right, let's set him over here. And yeah, that's some seriously cool stuff. It's it's like like uh, uh, Loot Crate Deluxe. It's just all big things. So, but uh, keeping some of this. Well, it's Star Wars. Some oh Lego Star Wars. Okay, Chronicles of the Force. They just oh here we go. there's something right here. What is this? Okay, this is not. These are not pages. Okay, let's see if I can. Okay, there's that little, little guy right there. This, these are not pages. This is solid right here. But these are these over here are pages. So I'm guessing you pop this out and you take the little character out. But I'm going to leave them in there just because. But uh, let me show you a couple of pages here. Oh, very nice. I'm not sure what this is exactly. If it's uh, just some artwork and behind the scenes interesting stuff or what, but. Or just the fan related uh, type stuff. Very nice. The universe in units, one million credits is the fee of the separatist, separatist alliance will pay bounty hunters for one dead Jedi. That's harsh. But, uh, very nice. Let's see, we got back here There's some closing credits. Very cool. Okay, so what is the Force Awakens exclusive minifigure? I can't see who that is. Oh, I think. No? Okay, I can't see. I'm gonna see if I can take him out of here. Well, it might be glued down. I don't wanna tear it apart if that's glued down on there. Alright, so you know what? I'm gonna leave it alone. Well, here, let me see if I can get you a. Good up close picture of it. Can't tell who that is. I can't tell. Anyways, so we got that. That's it. Very, very nice. This is some really cool stuff. Uh, favorite item. Yeah, we're going with the the pie side. <laughs> this is very cool. This is seriously cool. Ah. I already got a pizza cutter, so I'm not going to use this to be cutting pizza. This is a this is a shelf item for sure. Uh, second favorite is the shirt because that's okay, darn cool. No, hang on a second. Okay, this is seriously cool. I so like I said, I got Deadpool T-shirts. This is really nice, but I've got Deadpool T-shirts, and I do not have anything like this. A canvas, a little frame thing. I do not. So this. Boy, these are. <laughs> it can't be a. This, okay, this is seriously cool. I'm. I don't know what to do. Okay, so far it's a kind of a tie, but I'm kind of leaning toward this is my favorite item. Although the Star Wars Lego book is pretty darn cool, but no, this. Yeah, I'm. I'm going with this because this. This is not like anything I've got. Wolverine number issue number one, so canvas art thing, very cool. That's my favorite item. All right, so oh, let me uh, take a look at the other box, check for variant items, and check for damage. As, as you recall, we got that going on. I'm kind of thinking it's okay, but we shall we'll see. I did notice that there are no games in here, so that's uh, a new thing. I will, like I say, at the end of the, at the, at the closing credits, I'm going to go ahead and uh, post those uh, online so you can see, see them. Okay, what's, oh, this, this is my, oh, my sheet, I forgot to look at that. Okay, let's, uh, let me take a look at that real quick. See if there's anything to glean on this. Hashtag Geek Fuel. All right, let's see what we got. Deadpool t-shirt, Deadpool t-shirt, the, the weighty bunch. Oh, very nice. 
Pretty good. There it is right there. The, 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 the weighty bunch. All right, so we got the uh, Cowabunga Pizza Cutter, Lego Star Wars Chronicle of the Force collectible book and figures. Oh, here it is. Uncar's Brute is that little character, that Lego character in the book. Right there. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Wolver oh, there's... No, there's just the one. I started to say there was more than one uh, Wolverine, uh, what do you call it, canvas thing. But no, Wolverine number one comic art cover, Game of Thrones, Titan Vital Figure, exclusive Night King. Oh, Glow in the Dark Edition. So very cool. And I was right about that diorama thing. So, so Game of, Game of Thrones, uh, and then the uh, Bob's Burger uh, apron. And then the pen pals. Let's, uh, let's check the other one there. See if we got. If it's identical, I'm going to be upset. I think it might be. No, not quite. Because, uh. Okay, this character is the same, but this one's different. Hang on a second. Okay, you see the. That guy, and then. This is not the same as that one. They're both not rare. Okay. I never get the rare one. So. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Bob's Burgers. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about uh, variant items, so I'm not going to mess with that. Um, let me take one quick look at, again. And, uh, yeah, it would, it would say on here if there were variant items, and it does not, except for the pins, of course. So, that is that all right awesomely cool box i got three items vying for favorite item i guess i guess say that i've got like i guess a deadpool t-shirt so that's third favorite but a real close favorite so now i'm going with wolverine and then the and the pizza cutter that's that's seriously cool but so is that wolverine cover thing so all right so that is it for the first ever second quarter geek fuel EXP and the, the, the damage, whatever happened. Uh, see, everything on top was just the. Well, Pin Pals was right there, but doesn't seem to have damaged the packaging. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. And then the t shirt was right on top, but it's that cheap throwaway box. So, I'm not going to mess with that. Um, so, the, so, we're okay. So, we survived the. the uh, whatever happened there, <laughs> that catastrophe or whatever. So. All right, so that's it. Uh, uh, I, I'll probably get another one of these. I was thinking about canceling stuff, but like I say, it's stretched out over three months. I'm going to figure that out. In fact, Wikipedia is going to do some totaling and see if he can come up with a number as to uh, whether the cost for this one one in three month box is the same as three separate boxes. So, uh, so we'll see. All right, so that is it for. Um, I said this. I'm going to say it again because it's the closing, whatever. Geek Fuel EXP, first ever, second quarter box. Um, I'm Paul Wooders. This is the Wook Factor, and we'll see you next time.